Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading here for February 2019. This is going to be your devotion or deception reading, okay? We're trying to get to the bottom of the situation, whether or not, you know, whoever you're dealing with is being up front, okay? So let's get started here. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the past shares, likes, subscribes, etc., the comments. Don't forget to leave a comment here, okay? Um, also, the personal readings, okay? You guys are awesome. And uh, the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You know, I just finished Aries reading. Uh, I feel like Aries is dealing with you and you are dealing with Aries, okay? For some of you guys, okay? I actually know a Capricorn who is dealing with an Aries, um, which is really interesting, okay? Now, the Nine of Wands is the Aries, right? And the Ten of Swords is this card here showing up in the reading with, you know, the Ten Daggers that are in this woman's chest, okay? And actually she's laying by the ocean. Wow, it's kind of interesting here. Um, but, you know, the Ten of Swords is that, you know, you've basically been screwed over, you've been backstabbed, you've gone through heartbreak, um, you know, sometimes you can do this to yourself, but usually not, and, um, you know, it is the end of a painful situation, that's what it is, okay? Your current energy, Capricorn, is the Queen of Wands, so you see, I feel like Aries is showing up in your reading here, or a fire sign, okay? You are carrying this fire energy. You could also be taking action in a situation, okay? And I'm going to clarify the cards as we go. What you want is the Eight of Cups, uh, Capricorn, okay? I don't feel like you are trying to move away from uh, a fire sign, though. No. I feel like we're going to clarify and we're going to have, you know, these cards are going to take on a life of their own after that. So why does Capricorn have the Queen of Wands. Why does Capricorn have the Queen of Wands, please? Why does Capricorn have the Queen of Wands, please? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like right now, Capricorn, you really want to have a union, a secure, stable, abundant, uh, serious relationship, maybe marriage, with uh, with a fire sign, all right? That's how I'm thinking. You could also be taking action to have that, okay? You could be, all right? Okay. So, why does Capricorn want the Eight of Cups, though? Why would Capricorn want the Eight of Cups? Please show us why the Eight of Cups is there for Capricorn. And we have the Queen of Cups here. Wow, okay. So this is your desire, okay? I feel like you've moved on. Um, you know, this could be showing up, Capricorn, because you have already moved on to find something more satisfying earlier, right? Could have moved on from somebody else. And this is what you want. You want love with the Queen of Cups, okay? That could be the case here. I feel like that is the situation here, okay? Now, how you seeing your partner? Are you seeing them as justice? Why would Capricorn see their person as justice? Why would Capricorn see their person as justice, please? The Knight of Pentacles. So you are showing up here, Capricorn, and how you are seeing them. I feel like you're seeing them as having balance with you, okay? Or having some type of justice, okay? Over here, they have the Ten of Swords. They could have gone through um, something really bad in the past, some kind of heartbreak, okay? And remember, the Ten of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So, you know, definitely somebody has gone through betrayal or, you know, a very harsh ending where their heart was broken, something like that, where they felt the Ten Swords in their back. Why is Capricorn's person the Eight of Wands? Why would Capricorn's person have the Eight of Wands in their current energy, please? And we have the Seven of Swords, kind of sneaky stuff here, okay? Um, you know, they could be running away from a situation, Capricorn, and, and you know, experiencing change here, all right? But they could also be, they could have, you know, their current energy, they could have gotten away, you know, from somebody who was that. Because the Ten of Swords, they could have been the ones with the pain, all right? Um, but I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like they have, you know, 
they are going through changes here because they have left somebody else who was sneaky here, okay? Or, yeah, or they could have gotten away from a situation here uh, with the Ten of Swords over here that was painful. And maybe they had to run off here. Let's get another card. With these Seven of Swords can be running off, like shirking responsibility or just kind of let me get the hell out of here because of all these swords, all right? Let's see, why, why does Capricorn's person have these Seven of Swords? Why does Capricorn's person have these Seven of Swords, please? And here we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they want change here. Um, they could have been sneaky in, in a marriage or in a commitment here. They could have been. I feel like they ran away from something, though, that was painful. Yeah, that they're experiencing change here. Wow, in their current energy. Let's see, why would they want the Ten of Swords? Why does Capricorn's person have the Ten of Swords, please? The Two of Wands. Yeah, you see, this is what they want, too. They want to carve out a new life path um, after going through some harsh ending with somebody, okay? And this person, you know, they could have had to, like, flee the situation, like, sneak off. That could be the case here. Wow. So, let's see. Why do they see Capricorn as the Knight of Swords? Why do they see Capricorn as the Knight of Swords, please? The Tower. So they're seeing you as, you know, I feel like they're seeing you as a little, uh, what's the word with the Knight of Swords? Like, um, I feel like they're seeing you as, you know, being very direct here and kind of impulsive here maybe because you have already gone through a Tower moment, okay? They could also be seeing you as trying to cut one out. Let's see. Why is the tower there? They could be seeing you as rushing in as well here. Maybe to communicate something. Clarify the tower. Why would Aries... I mean, sorry. Why would Capricorn's person see Capricorn as the tower card, please? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, they're seeing you as... Going through a tower moment here. And wanting a wish. Yeah. And I feel like that's how they're seeing you up here. They're seeing you, well, you're seeing them as justice. Okay. Okay, that was the Aries reading. It's interesting because it looks like there's an Aries. It looks like you're dealing with, um, with a fire sign. And in the Aries reading, it looked like they were dealing with a with an earth sign, right? So it looks like, you know, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries and some Aries could be dealing with Capricorn here. Um, I feel like they are seeing you as rushing in maybe after experiencing some type of tower moment to have your wish. Your wish is with, your wish is with them, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because over here, you are wanting, you have left the situation here and now you want love. I feel like that's what this is. I feel like you both have gone through some type of an ending here. That's what this is, okay? And now, um, I feel like you guys want each other. Let's see why the Two of Wands... Why would Aries person want the Two of Wands? Why would Aries person want the Two of Wands? And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so we have two completions here, right? And this is what your person... Capricorn's person, not Aries person. I'm sorry. Uh... Capricorn's person, your person has gone through a harsh ending here where it was such a burden and they are wanting a new path in life, okay? Yeah, very interesting here. And um, let's see why the past dynamic was the hermit. Why is the past dynamic the hermit between Capricorn and their person? Why is the past dynamic between Capricorn and their person the hermit, please? And we have the Empress. Okay, did we have the Empress earlier? 
No, but interestingly enough, the Knight of Wands is here in the reading, and so is the Ten of Swords showing up twice. Interesting, okay? Okay, or the Queen of Wands is here, rather. Okay, so let's see here. The Empress is with the Hermit card. This is the past dynamic, okay? I feel like in the past, somebody had to really do some soul-searching about an Empress. Let's see who that might be. Clarify the Empress card. Or maybe about how to bring something to fruition. That could be the case, too. Clarify the Empress card. Um, why is the past dynamic with... Capricorn and their person, the Empress. The Temperance card. Wow, those are three major arcanas in the past dynamic. I feel like there's healing in the past, um, and I feel like somebody went within to find healing about an Empress. I feel like this Empress could be the person who put ten swords in your person's back here. Okay, Capricorn. I'm going over to Vimeo, Capricorn, right now to discuss uh, the challenge here, the current dynamic, you know, and also what they're hiding here and the outcome here, okay, between you guys, or the best case scenario between who you and whoever you're dealing with. Thank you so much, Capricorn. The link is below, and you can see all your extendeds for just $8.99. Okay, guys, take care.